Today I'm going to show you how to slide out of the beginner's box. Now, sure the beginner box is great, but it's very limiting. It would be nice to have an easy way to get out of there and maybe go to a different position. Uh, when that's what we're going to learn to do today. We're going to add two notes. We're going to add the 7th fret of the A, uh, a string, and we're going to add the 5th fret of the D string. Now, in order to uh, get out of the box, what we're going to do Let's pretend we're playing the box. On that fifth fret, when we hit that fifth fret, fret, excuse me, when we hit the fifth fret, we're going to slide up to the seventh fret, and then we're going to play that fifth fret on the D. And that's figure two right there. And here's figure one. Those are the two added notes. Figure one is showing you, you know, just the two notes we've added to the box. Figure two is showing you kind of how we transition out of the box. You know, you can do it without a slide, as in, or you can slide into it. Either way, but once you get up that box, out of the box, and up to that fifth fret, you might want to try going backwards. Now here's figure three, is a little lick uh, built off of that sliding out of the beginner's box. It's just a nice little riff. Now figure four is a more elaborate riff. We're going to add some of the outside notes that we learned yesterday and basically it's the same lick with those added notes. Okay, well that's about it for today. Tomorrow I'm going to show you uh, how with that new position that we're in, how it creates uh, for it's the first two notes of a new box and we'll learn that box tomorrow and it will, it will really open up some new phrasings for you. And hope to see you then.